What is up my beautiful Blackwing family? So today I have this really informative video for you where Sam Blackwing builds against me with his best version which he's which he believes is the Kaluga version and I take my which I believe is the Horus Blackwing version and we build each other. We have like over 10-12 games that we made uh, but before I show you those plays games and before I comment on these I want to say this is not about to find out who is the better player person whatever okay so i don't want to start this debate because uh i, I don't want to in general like i don't want to compare myself to other black wing players because for me if you ask me we are all one team and if if another black wing player wins against me i'm as happy as if i win against him so just to let you guys know okay this is not about competition whatsoever we are all in one boat okay I just want to find out which is the best deck. So, let's see. Alright, let's see. Alright, our first game, I won the dice roll. He has one Ash, I have one Imperm. Um, I start with Simoon. Banish my Hamilton. Get the Black Whirlwind out. And now, that's the thing. In general, about Black Wings. You could potentially win immediately if you ash the black world and if you don't have and like if I don't have any follow up, it's just over, right? But if I do have follow up, then the ash was basically for nothing. So it's a little bit of gamble. But at the same time, if you only have one ash, if you only have one ash and I start with Simoon, you either risk it and if if you risk it, right? Or let's say I do have another Zudri. One Ash is not going to stop the combo. So the best thing in a mirror match is maybe if you only have one Ash. Maybe to Ash the Black Whirlwind. But for me personally, if I have only one Ash against Kali Yuga version. For me, it's safe to say I'll just Ash the Badish. For me personally. But against any other Black Wind deck, you want to Ash immediately the Black Whirlwind. Only against Kali Yuga. I wouldn't ash the black weapons. So yeah, he uses Ash, which is smart. And I continue with Sudri at Shanga. And from here on. Even if this was a Kali Yuga, but right now you could still end up on Kali Kali Yuga with Ball Savage Dragon and Assault Dragon Assault Dragon. Uh but you wouldn't have like any grind game. And for us we can still do this combo. End up on this Pater. Now I could finish with this board right here. Because I still have like this quick effect to pop in the graveyard. Plus a Soul, uh, Soul Dragon and this Pater. But I decided to play it safe. And go to Little Knight. Banish his Ash. So that just in case like he has any Biru or whatever. Or if he has like anything else. I can negate also with this Pater. So yeah. And usually against any matchup. This should also be enough. So yeah, if you normally summon Zudri, Little Knight alone, this is too OP and wins. So here right now, instead of Assault Synchron, I'm playing a uh, Horus as a small world bridge. And the Horus right here could have maybe won the game. Okay, it could have. It doesn't have to. It could have though. So yeah. But at this at the at the same time, like this imperm is also insane, so who knows, who knows? But it could have, but it didn't doesn't really have to. You could at least with the Horus engine play around the Lil Knight, beat the Lil Knight, also beat the Dispater, and then you could actually win this game. But unfortunately Kaluga build cannot break this board like this with Assault Synchron. So he just has to pass. On the salt synchron. And yeah. You can search here. For that. And then with Hamilton and Shamal. I can go into Baron de Fleur. To, uh, to be prepared against like another hand trap. Or like Nibiru whatsoever. And then easily OTK. Alright, so game two, uh, this was a little bit unfortunate for Simon Blackman because he was going first now, I'm going second, I sighted some Veilers, some, a lot of hand traps, but I also sighted in always the MZs. 
And um, like my hand is insane, obviously. And he got prosperity. He was able to get Zudri. But he also has steam on his hand. So the problem is the Solid Synchron and Zudri is still full combo, even for Kali Yuga. It is still. But it can lose to a simple Imperm, unfortunately. Like, I could have also kept, let him go full combo for Kali Yuga. And then Badish, Vela the uh, Badish. And then thanks to the Horus cards, I can still win. Like, this one doesn't matter. But I decided to just Vela right here. His Nofung, so that he doesn't get his additional normal summon. And now the only thing he can do is get Boreal Storm with the Shanghai, and then obviously we just break this along with the horse cards. So his the best thing that he could have done right now was to pop immediately the uh, sarc sarc sarcophagus with Shanga, because otherwise, if he doesn't do that, I'll just run over Boreal Storm, and then yeah. Basically, we still have here full combo. And what I also like to do, what I really like to do is tribute my uh, Zudri to get the token out so that I can use the token and my Imzeri to go to uh, Baron de Fleur before I do my fifth summon. And now I can just go full combo here. Just like that. And then obviously we're just gonna OTK again. It was unfortunately that he bricked this time going like it's not really brick, but alludes to like a simple hand trap. Game three, um we decide to do like a best of five every time, not a best of three. He's going first again. He has the Raiders ring, small world, and this is like a big issue right now with Raiders Ring as a uh, to have Raiders Ring as as a brick on his hand right now. He can still end up on Kali Yuga, but he has to go like lines that he usually doesn't want to go, and it also plays really ugly into uh, Nibiru. But at the same time, like I have free hand chaps, okay? I have free free hand chaps, and I know this is disgusting, okay? Almost every deck loses to this, almost every deck. So I decided to only use one of those hand traps and not more by the way this could have also easily lost to Joel. if i would have drawled him right here he would have just lost but i didn't because i felt like you know what let's see if one one other hand trap is enough so i let him go full combo but the issue is this time that he has to banish, that he had to banish his Raiders Ring. So that means, I wasn't sure, maybe, he, I was like, maybe he does have the rank up on his hand. If he has already the rank up on his hand, then he can still end up on Kali Yuga. So I was still expecting him to go for Kali Yuga. But um, we'll see what's going to happen. So he goes into the Black Wind Dragon. And on the Black Wind Dragon's effect, I was looking like, okay, chain one, Black Feather Woman, and chain two, Shamal. And with Shamal, he added Amitan instead of Shinook because he wanted to play through multiple interruptions. But I was like, okay, you know what? If you add Hamitan and not Shinook, I'll just Nibiru you right there. Right there. And then one Nibiru was actually enough. Uh, if you were playing right now the Bustil deck, or the horse deck, you can still activate Zephyr's effect to bounce back the Black Feather Wormant. And then with Hamilton and Zephyr's, you can go into Chaos Angel just for a Synchro Summon so that you, you can trigger the Black Feather Wormant again. And then with the Black Feather Wormant, you can um, special summon Zudri again. And with Zudri, you can tribute the token so that you have like level 2 plus Zudri. And then with these two, you can like go into Boreal Storm and still get like another interruption plus a Soul Dragon. And you got Chaos Angel, so 
that could have been really nice. But yeah. So I only try to use that and then the whole engine obviously is already just winning. I drew into Simoon with the sarcophagus, which is really nice, but because of the Nibiru, I couldn't go right now into that. I didn't really matter though. Because I, I was like, you know what? Okay, he veilered. He veilered that one. But uh, I think it didn't really matter because I can just run, get rid of it, and then. Yeah, because he only had. Because of Black Whirlwind, he only had 7,000 life points, so he lost that one again. Alright, so this is a completely new match. This is without siding. This time. Uh, he's going first, okay, but without signing, because if I was already sighted, if I would have already sighted, instead of prosperity, I would have, like, another hand trap, because I usually side away the prosperities if I'm going second. Um, but, yeah, alright, so, he starts, this time he has, a, like, a really, really beautiful hand, because he got double whirlwind, and if you have double whirlwind, plus ash, plus troll, there's no way that you should lose right now. Like, there should be no way. Right? Especially against a simple against one hand against one hand trip you should not lose. So Valor his body and let's see what his final ball is going to be like. He goes into that. Kiri Falcon to get Shamal out. So that he because he also wants to go into Ball of Savage Dragon. And then he wants to add again for Chinook so that he has also Chinook. And then he into Draco Berserker, which is fine. Unfortunately, I have now, like literally, two useless cards. Bata and Zuji, because I got him double. If one of those cards would have been Imzadi, I, I could have won. But then he still has Ash and Joel, so I would basically just lose right now to his hand traps. Which is not a shame, like sometimes... You can lose two hand traps alone. So I'll start with prosperity, banish three, add imperm, and then I get drawled here. And that draw alone after prosperity, you guys know how crucial that is. So I'm not gonna be able to break this board, but like if it didn't have hand traps, if it didn't have any hand traps, I could have maybe break his board. And if I had like another Mzadi. But yeah, I lost this one. I'll go. Yeah, and then Chinook on on that is crucial. So I'll definitely lose this one. Alright, so this time I'm going first. I start with the Mzadi to add the sarcoph sarcophagus. And then he drolls me, but I got cross out. Which is just too insane. And then now the crazy thing here is that we can just even if I get imprint right here or veil it right here. Thanks to the sarcophagus, I can still uh, end up on like a full armor master or Baron de Fleur or whatever you want. So, yeah. Even though this boat doesn't maybe look as good it's still insane because that's all you need Caliga is always like automatic win but you lose a lot of grind game and you don't really need that much stuff from the X deck just to get this OTK because even this board is enough so he gets early matched to his hand with prosperity 
because he thought that Evely Match wins against this deck. I'll use Little Knight. Get rid of those. And because he knows I have Shanga, Shanga and Shinook, it doesn't really make sense for him to keep going. So I get these back. Go to the bell face, attack, attack, attack. Now with Prosperity, I'll just grab Zudri. With Zudri, I can add water. And then I can use these two to go into Black Wing Dragon. The special, and with uh, Shamal, get back to Shanga. Now I can summon Baron de Fleur. And if I want to, I could also uh, summon the Assault Dragon by banishing Boreal Stone with the. Um, Black Wing Jank from the graveyard. In the beers, but we got the protection. So, yeah, we're winning also this one. And now, this game right here is actually really, 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 really good because let me show you why I believe this, this, this is exactly the reason why I think um, Kali Yuga is not the best version. As you guys can see, we have a similar hand, okay? This is a really similar hand. He's actually even in a better position because he still has Ash and he still has um, um, Droll, okay? So he has an insane hand. Even if I, if I Ash right here, he can small bridge into Zudri and then keep going. So I'm not going to use any interruptions at the beginning because like I said, the Kadyuga version is the only version that has choke points. Any other Blackwing deck, like Bustier or Horus, doesn't have choke points. Okay. So I'll let him go full combo, okay? All the things that he wants to do. And now we're just going to imp him Badish. And now he can just continue. Whatever he wants to do. And now he got his Omni Gate, his Soul Dragon, and now he's still gonna have a new on his hand. But no Shanga. Because that's the thing, Shanga is so OP, okay? It's so OP, but if you go the Kaliga line, you're not going to be able to get a Shanga. Only if you force yourself to go into Nofung. And if you force yourself to go into Nofung, you could lose easier to Nibiru. Alright, so I didn't really need to imp him, but it did came up handy. I could also use like Shinook to negate it. Doesn't really matter. It only matters because he has Droll and Ash. That's the only reason why it matters. If it didn't have those two, it wouldn't have mattered. By the way, I'm banishing Shinook. Okay, I'm not using Shinook. I'm banishing Shinook because I was expecting him to have Droll. Now I'm going to add here my Shanga. I get Drolled, which is fine. Now Specimen Vata. He doesn't Ash me right here, which is uh, kind of small. We'll see what's going to happen next. And then I special summon Sh uh, Shanga because the Blackwing Dragon now has two counters. I go into this Peter. With this Peter, I'll special summon back the Chinook. And now I can just negate his Assault Dragon with this Peter. And for some reason, for some reason, I thought he still has like a, I don't know, like like a Nibiru or whatever. Which is why I didn't really use my Dispater to negate his Chinook. Next up, we're going to activate Zephyr's effect. To bounce back the Black Whirlwind. And now we can use these two to go into Chaos Angel to banish the Warlord. And then we can banish our Black Wind Dragon and the Boreal Storm to summon a Soul Dragon. And I can still go with Zudri. And like I could still, I could have gone for a bigger board, but I didn't want to lose to Nibiru or like Nibiru, ba Nibiru Chinook, for example. I didn't want to lose to that, which is why I didn't continue for a bigger board. 
And yeah, but now he doesn't really have anything else left. He lost all of his grind game. And by the way, I forgot. I actually, in main phase 2, what I wanted to do was to go into Lil Knight with Assault Dragon and with Chaos Angel to go into Lil Knight to get uh, to banish the Black uh, Feather Whirlwind. I misplayed here. Okay, I didn't do it. Which is actually really crucial because now he was able with Prosperity to get like another Simoon. And then with Chinook, he negates my Dissipator. And then with Small World, he bridges his Ash for another Black Monster. Because if he uses just Simoon, I can just destroy it with Dissipator and then it's over. So yeah, he was lucky to still have his uh, Black Feather Wounds. But he's losing also a lot of life points. So he only has 1,700 700 life points left. He can go into Draco Berserker with Black Feather Wounds. He can special summon the Joe. With Joe, he can special summon Raikiri. With Shanga, he can chain to destroy the Soul Dragon. And then he can pop my Chaos Angel attack over the Spater. I should have, by the way, like I should have negated the Chinook with the Spater. I don't know why I didn't do it. That was really, that was also not a misplay. But thanks to Prosperity, I'm still surviving. And like I said, last turn I didn't even normal summon. So I still have everything I need. To win right here. I can I didn't even go my normal lines yet. But because you only had 700 life points left, I did go for nothing to burn him. Chain block with Feather Whirlwind. And then he just loses, but... I can still go into Baron de Fleur and I still have uh, Vata, so I still have a lot of things to do. But yeah. Alright, so this time I'm going first after we side it because I didn't play that much going first because I kept winning. <laughs> but um, yeah, now let's say I'm going first. I only played two Prosperities and for some reason I drew both of them, which is like okay, I guess. But yeah, so I'll start with the Mzeri. He ashes it, which is like the most usual ash target ever. Now, with Prosperity, I can search here for Zudri. And then, now it's a gamble. He can use Imperm right here, but if I already have like the other two extenders over here, it's. It's a little bit of gamble. But yeah, I got my Vata going to Blackwing Dragon. Zephyros get the token out and then it didn't really matter to be honest. Like if he would have my used my the if he would have used the Imperm right on Zudri or not, it didn't really matter because he can just also Imperm the Spater on his turn. So I kinda bricked here. But let's see how far we can go. Uh, yeah. Oh no, by the way, this is without sighting. We did not sight. This is just a new game one. Uh, yeah. He imperms that. And now I have to... I have to imperm Zuri right here. Otherwise, he's getting too much. And now with Valtza... Going... Like, activating Valtza's effect doesn't really make sense. Because Zuri is already dead. But, um, like, if I, if, if that was right now the Horus, the Horus version, you would, he could activate Vata's effect. He could activate Vata's effect, go into, uh, Blackwing Dragon, and then also, like, Lil Knight, maybe. But he goes for Nofung, and I have to Valor Nofung, because otherwise he can get this another additional normal summon. But... I mean, either way, he would have lost to another Valor. And then I top deck Ash. But yeah, with that long, we, we're winning. Normal summon. And this is the thing like, even top decking the rank ups and the Raiders ring, like, this is just a big pain in the ass, which happened to me way too many times. And now with Sarcophagus, look at this. This is what I'm saying. Like, sometimes we don't even need. Blackwing monsters, we just all we need is this. All we need is this. And then we just winning. Boom. Boom, boom. Yep. 
All right, another one. This time, Silent Blackwing is going first, and I have Nibiru Impam. This was after sighting. Oh yeah, I have this time. I have Joel, Nibiru, Impum. Like I have so much stuff, and the Joel didn't do anything, by the way, because his his hand was already busted. Sometimes you guys know. Sometimes Joel doesn't do anything. I decided to Impum right here. The uh, forgot his name. The Boreal Storm. And because, yeah, he goes into full arm master. I could have nipped before full arm master comes, but it's, it's fine. He tried to go to the end phase, so I decided to use my nip. And then he goes that. And he actually forgot. Oh, no, that's fine, yeah. And then it's basically his board. But doesn't really matter. So uh, I tried to run over full arm master to get rid of that. He changes his Chinook. Uh, now he forgot to do it in the damage step. So we're just going to pretend like Nibiru is dead. So we are right now main phase 2. Let's pretend Nibiru is not dead because he was supposed to be in the damage step. But he didn't do it in the damage step. So I took the attack back. And yeah, he only has Shanga, I think. No, he doesn't have Shanga. Oh yeah, he does. He does have Shanga. So he decides to use Shanga to pop Zudri. But we already have Shanga in our hand and Vata. And then we got full combo here. And like before we even get nipped. We have this Peta out. All of this out. I like, always like to go into Chaos Angel for for no specific reason. But yeah, Shanga pops. No, no, sorry. Yeah, he doesn't really have any grind game left. So he's not going to be able to break the sport. Especially with Chaos Angel. There's no chance with the Kaliga version. Alright, last game. Um, this time I'm going first after we sighted. This is after sighting, so now I'm going first. And this is my hand. I start with Timzeti to get the sarcophagus. And then I drew into small world. Like, the worst thing that you can draw with uh, the Mzeti after you're getting drilled. But it's fine. Because, look at this. I decided to just take these two to go into Lil Knight because I still have Droll and Lil Knight and I believe that this should be enough to at least survive a game. He goes Prosperity and Lil Knight is just a big problem. There's no way, there's no way with this hand that he can win against. So he goes in for Zudri. Just so that he can run over with suit uh, with uh, sorry Zephros. I draw him, but it doesn't really matter. Every time I use draw, like he already has most of the ads. But yeah, if he would have used Black Whirlwind with Zephros, I I would have just banished the uh, Black Whirlwind. But yeah. That's the other thing, like, there's no chance. And then, it's my turn again, and because I have so much grinding, the crossout doesn't really matter, because I can just go here into Photon Lord, then use Small World, and get my uh, Jamal. If he used Drill, I don't really care, because I already have everything that I need, and I'm just going to go full combo here. That's basically it. Alright guys, so like I said, this is the exact the reason why I believe uh like Caliuga is insanely strong. Okay, it is arguably the best board. 
that you can build with Blackwing. Like if you go full combo, let's say you have only pure engine and you're going full combo, then Caliuga is the best one. But like I said, if you're looking competitive wise and if you're looking like round seven, eight, nine, where it actually gets competitive and it actually like starts to get like really sweaty and difficult. You cannot allow yourself to break, especially not with Raiders Ring and Rank Ups. And you've seen the situation. Sometimes he drew into Rank Up, drew into Raiders Ring. Crucial, crucial, especially like when you're round 8, 7. Like this, this exactly, like I said, bro, I've been playing the Caliuga version for a long time. That that carried me. It carried me. It almost, yeah, you can say it carried the, the whole beginning of my career as a Yu-Gi-Oh player. Competitive Yu-Gi-Oh player. And I'm thankful for it. But we have to find other ways so that we can keep up late in the grind games and also like those late rounds, 7, 8, 6, 9, 10, whatever. Because the first five rounds are always easy. You're always going to win the first five rounds. I never, I was never doubting myself of any Blackwing deck to not win the first five rounds. But that's later on where it gets heavy, sweaty, whatever. And as you guys can see, like, Obviously, you're not going to lose everything with one Imperm on Badish. But the board that you're going to end up on the at the end, after you're getting Imperm or Ashed on Badish, it's not a board that can... Only if you're lucky, only if you're really lucky, it can still win the game. But if you're not going to be able to OTK your opponent in turn 3, let's say you survive. Let's say you survive, okay? Which usually... If you don't summon Caliuga, it's, I mean, for me, as you guys can see, I was able to still OTK him even after one Imper. But um, if you don't OTK him in turn three, and we also had that situation once, he didn't, he wasn't able to OTK me, which followed for him to lose the game because he doesn't have, he didn't have any more grind game. And that's the issue. But, um, yeah, but it's up to you to judge. You can also say like, yeah, bro, you had the most busted hands and he didn't really have the same amount of good hands. But this is also something what I'm saying. Like, this is why on my ranking, I said the key is consistency. And as you guys can see, like my hands were more consistent than his hands. Thanks to the Imzadis. You know what I'm saying? Like, even... Sometimes if I don't even go into, I don't even need to go into my Blackwing engine. I can just play with hand traps and with the Horus card sometimes. And I have, I still have like insane grind game. So for me, it's, it's cool. But, um, the Kaluga version, unfortunately, can break really bad sometimes. So, yeah. It's up to you guys. What do you think? Yeah, let me know. All right. Oof. Like I said, don't, don't forget about Hey, Sam Blackman is still the legend, man. He is a legend. I don't want to see any comments or any, yeah, bro, Kanek is the best or Sam Blackman is the best. It's not about that. It's not about that, bro. We are all in one boat together, okay? If one of us loses, we're all losing. If one of us wins, we're all winning, okay? So it's not about that. I just want to make this sure, guys, okay? I don't want ever, ever, ever in my life have beef with the legend Sam Blackman. So please, be cool in the comments, okay? I love you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.